Aviation Alice might just change the way we fly for good. Today, we're going to talk about the exciting developments in regional air travel with this all-electric plane. How could this new technology make flying easier and better for the environment? Let's jump in and see what makes Alice so unique. Aviation Aircraft is changing the game for regional air travel with its fully electric Alice commuter plane. It can carry up to nine passengers and is perfect for short-haul flights, especially in busy areas where eco-friendly travel is in demand. The Alice runs on an all-electric propulsion system, which lets it fly up to 440 nautical miles on a single charge. This is a huge step forward for electric aviation, especially when compared to traditional regional planes, which tend to have much higher costs and bigger carbon footprints. The Alice is made with lightweight materials to help it fly efficiently and use less energy, which is key for the aircraft to perform well on its planned routes. What really makes the Alice stand out is the high-tech design. Its propulsion system runs on energy-dense batteries, which helps it operate with great efficiency. The plane's first test flight happened in 2022, and the company, led by CEO Andre Stein, who took over in January 2024, expects to get it certified by 2028. One of the best things about the Alice is its zero-emission propulsion system, which is a big win for sustainability in aviation. Traditional planes contribute a lot to global carbon emissions, but Alice offers a cleaner alternative. Its electric engines don't need fossil fuels and cut down on greenhouse gas emissions while flying. UrbanLink, a key partner of aviation, has already jumped on board with Alice, adding 10 units to its fleet. UrbanLink's focus on zero-emission transport fits perfectly with Alice's design, which uses electricity to power its motors, producing no emissions during flight. This is part of a bigger global push to reduce aviation's carbon footprint and support environmental goals set by organizations like the United Nations and aviation regulators like the FAA. Even though Alice's electric system sounds promising, there are still some roadblocks to overcome. One of the biggest challenges is building the charging infrastructure at regional airports. Right now, many of these airports don't have the equipment to charge electric planes, which means a lot of new investments are needed to get these systems up and running. Battery technology also has its limitations. While Alice can carry nine passengers and travel up to 440 nautical miles, the batteries need more work to become even more efficient and powerful. They have to be light enough for the plane to fly well, but strong enough to cover those long distances. Plus, scaling up production of these batteries is tough, as the demand for electric propulsion systems is outpacing what the current supply chain can handle. Aviation isn't tackling the electric aircraft challenge alone. The company has already secured over 600 letters of intent, LOIs, from regional airlines, which could translate to about $5 billion in sales. However, these LOIs haven't turned into firm orders yet. Aviation plans to make that happen once they finalize their suppliers for the Alice's production. The aircraft's development is being closely watched by industry players. With more than 80% of Alice's suppliers already chosen, the project is clearly moving forward. But it's still a few years away from being commercially available. Aviation plans to build five or six prototypes that will be flight tested over the next 12 to 18 months before they can get official certification. Alice has a lot of potential to shake up regional air travel, but there are still big challenges to overcome. Its zero-emission design could help lower operating costs compared to traditional aircraft. The electric engines also have fewer moving parts, so they should be cheaper to maintain. But the big question is whether Alice can compete with long-established regional aircraft makers when it comes to price and efficiency. To keep costs down, Aviation is also adjusting its design. They've chosen a more traditional fuselage shape, which is easier and cheaper to make than the original one. This change isn't a full redesign, but more of an evolution, which could help Alice become more affordable as it gets ready for mass production. While Alice shows a lot of promise, it will still have tough competition from traditional aircraft in terms of both cost and performance. The next few years will be crucial as the plane goes through testing and certification. If it succeeds, Alice could become a key player in the global push for greener aviation. What do you think? Could Aviation Alice truly redefine regional aviation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love our related video on Embraer's EV Toll.
Can EVE Air Mobility lead the pack? Discover its innovative features and see how it aims to change the future of urban air travel.